Time now for some sports news. It's back to business for the Super Eagles of Niger as invited players have started arriving there in Morocco training camp ahead of the final 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifier against Algeria. Already 15 invited Super Eagles players are now in Rabat, while team captain John Mikelubi, goalkeepers Francis Uzor and Daniel Akbei are expected in Rabat on Tuesday. The team's technical advisor, Gennad Ruh, has replaced injured midfielder Ogenio Nazi with defender Kenneth Omero, while Hirona FC of Spain forward on Larawajukade takes the place of Moses Simon, who is also knocked out by injury. Former Super Eagles defender Michael Eminello has resigned from his position as technical director at Chelsea Football Club. There are indications the ex-international who was in the Super Eagles squad for the USA 94 FIFA World Cup could assume a position at AS Monaco. World Cup winner Andrea Pello has brought down the curtain on his glittering football career, signing off with a message on social media after coming on as a late substitute for major league soccer side New York City in their 2-0 win over Columbus Crew. The 38-year-old leaves the game with two Champions League titles, six Serie A crowns, the 2006 FIFA World Cup he won with Italy in Germany, as well as a host of other trophies and honours accumulated in more than 20 years. There are indications former Everton and Manchester United manager David Moyes will take over as manager of West Ham following the departure of Slavin Bilic. Moyes, who is currently out of work, looks set to take over from the Croatian, who was sacked after the club dropped into the relegation zone following Saturday's 4-1 home defeat by Liverpool FC. And that's a wrap on Sports News. The News at 10 continues shortly. Zimbabwe's Vice President Emerson Magagwa has been removed from his post after allegedly displaying traits of disloyalty. The removal of the 75-year-old makes it more likely that President Robert Mugabe's wife, Grace, will follow in her husband's footsteps as leader of Zimbabwe. She had earlier called on her husband to remove his vice president, denouncing him as a coup plotter and a coward. Last month, she warned of plans to stage a coup, hinting that supporters of Mr. Nangwa were behind the alleged plot. And on entertainment news, Chris Agillo, Sir Shino Peters and Dan Mariah Joss received legendary awards at the 2016 Cosin Songs Awards. Details and other stories with Victoria Ido. On entertainment news tonight, veteran Juju music maestro Chris Agillo, Afro Juju singer Sir Shino Peters and late traditional guitarist from Joss, Dan Mariah received the legendary Special Recognition Award at the 2017 Cosson Songs Awards held in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. The event, which ends the week-long celebration by the Copyright Society of Nigeria, also awarded wave acts including Tijan for the best love song and Solid Star and Orisha Femi for the best collaboration prize. Shabba. And finally, Ghanaian filmmaker Shirley Frimpong Manso believes the success and prestige of the Nigerian film industry, popularly called Nollywood outside Africa, has rubbed off on the entire filming industry in Africa. The award-winning director, whose new film Potato Potato combines Nigerian and Ghanaian actors, says Nollywood now represents the whole of Africa and not just Nigerian films. And that's all for tonight. Thank you for watching. It's back to the news at 10. And the main news again. Security forces today repelled an attack on Gulak community in Adamawa State. The attack forced many residents to flee their homes, but the State Commissioner of Police told Channels Television that calm has returned to the area. Also today, Vice President Yemiya Shibajo said delayed budgetary process always stifles the economy as he calls for an end to executive legislative face-off over appropriation bills. And Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe today sacked his deputy, Emerson Mugangwa, over alleged traits of disloyalty. That's tonight's News at 10. Thanks for joining us for it. My name is Ladi Akiri Jolali. Good night.